Hi guys, this is The Scoop. We were gonna sit down this evening and have a chat with you, um, but Keith has to leave. He has to go truck last minute, so we're not gonna be able to do that. But I just wanted to let you know that you're gonna meet our family in this video. Uh, we just wanted you to know that Keith is just as much a part of this as uh, I am, and he just can't make it this time of year, so. I'm busy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just wanted you to see his face before you uh, saw everybody else, so. Oh, and thank you for all of the donations that have already come in. And all of the love and all of the support, we appreciate it. Thank you. That was not an easy goodbye. <laughs> because I'm gonna be gone for a long time. But number two, like what I'm going to do, I wish he was with me. <sighs> so I'm just having a lot of, I'm having a lot of feelings this morning. made it to my first accommodation and it's lovely it's a little studio here in Busarias and it's great I'll show you around before it uh, becomes a disaster this is the little condo that I'm staying in this is the front door and then they've just got these hooks here and you walk right in and here's the bathroom nice big shower i'm excited to take one of these ah amazing and then directly out from the bathroom is a little kitchenette so just enough to do a few things see it looks like we've got some closet space here oh and a safe and an ironing board and then the bedroom area and the little dining table and a sitting area a bunch of space to put your stuff but I'm gonna show you the best part is the balcony look at that ocean pool hot tub I'm whipped at home it's 3 30 here it's 2 30 I have a half a peanut butter sandwich that I haven't ate so I'm going to scarf that down and see if it gives me some life put on some different clothes Maybe unpack a little bit and hit these streets. Cause I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make my way to the ocean. You know, gotta get there. All right, peanut butter sandwich time. I'm gonna unpack a little bit. One of these suitcases is actually for the kids, so the only thing I need to take out of it is a backpack and um, my air tag. Pro tip, if you travel a lot, use an Apple air tag, throw it in your suitcase, you always know where it's at. The backpack is actually something I'm gonna give to the kids, but I'm going to use it while I'm here, like to take down to the beach and stuff, so. Air tag. Now I can close this one back up and just put it in the corner because I'm going over there tomorrow. So I will be taking this with me. You always gotta take your yoga mat. You know what? I'll just kind of show you what I packed. I just brought this one suitcase. So I took out my beach blanket, my yoga mat, and my jean jacket. These are bras and a, and a hat. These are some toiletries. This is all food. So it's got like tea and my AG1 and some salt and all of my protein powders. It's got a couple Lara bars and then it also has my supplements, activated charcoal, magnesium, and nettle leaf. 
and I've got cranberry and all that good stuff. These are the only two shoes that I brought besides the ones I had on, which were my tennis shoes. Grocery bags, my air tag. Straightener, that's hair stuff. This is a booty band. A lint roller. A camera tripod. A hair mister thingy for when I go curly. All of this is my underwear, socks, bras, like sports bras, and pajamas. Oh, and my workout gear. These are rice paper rolls because, you know, you never know if you get in a pinch. A couple books. And then these are all my clothes. Got some t-shirts. I got a pair of jeans. I've got my overalls. I got a couple dresses. I've got some tank tops. I've got some shorts. This is just a linen top. More tank tops. And that is it. And then in my backpack, I carried like my electronics and uh, my makeup. A few toiletries also and what else oh a spare set of clothes just in case my bags didn't make it i made it out of the condo to the beach of course it took me exactly two minutes <laughs> oh it's terrible life terrible 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 life i hope you know i'm kidding the process of finishing this street when we were down here last time and it's finished now and it looks beautiful. I've got all these little planter inserts and the roads done. It looks really nice. I got a strawberry popsicle because it's hot but it's melting like crazy. Look at all those strawberries. stink so bad <laughs> I came back to the room so I could get some deodorant on and go to the bathroom and chug some water and then I'm gonna go I think I'm just gonna go get some street tacos because honestly honestly I'm not hungry I'm not hungry at all uh, which is not like me um, I would totally go for a protein smoothie right now like an ice cold chocolate peanut butter protein smoothie but the little fruit place on the corner is closed and doesn't open again until 7.30 tomorrow morning. So we won't be doing that tonight. I also, in true Kirsten fashion, got strawberry popsicle on my shirt. So I'm gonna have to try to find some stain remover at the grocery store tomorrow. <laughs> but for now, we're gonna go out and find something to eat. This right here is the bridge that you take over to Centro. And then I'm walking to where my place is, which is like um, south. Also, my dinner cost $4.91, and that includes this huge bottle of water. <laughs> whipped. It's 7.54, so it's 9 o'clock at home, essentially. 
I'm tired. I said I was gonna make it an early night. It's really hard not to watch the sunset when you're in Busarius, which is like the best place to watch the sunset ever. I'm going to take a shower and get my things ready for tomorrow morning because at 9 a.m. I'm going to the lawyer to meet with Jasmine. Yasmin, not Jasmine, Yasmin. So, Yasmin, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll find out tomorrow. So, I'm just gonna go meet with her and touch base and actually meet her for the first time, like in person, and see where we're at with things. And then I'm gonna come back to this area and have some lunch, maybe get in the pool. And then at two o'clock, at two o'clock tomorrow, I get to go see the kids and I'm so excited. It's gonna be a good day. I wish my husband could be here with me, but he's here. He's here in spirit. It's time for bed. It's like 8.45 and I am snug as a bug in a rug. And I'm gonna turn that light off and I'm gonna go to bed. I can't believe how tired I am. All right, good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Look at this view. <laughs> you can barely see it, but right through here is where La Cruz is, where all the fishing boats and stuff are and the sailboats, and they're coming out for the morning. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this has just been such an emotional trip already. In like the best of ways. There's like some really good things happening back at home right now too. And then all of this that we've been dealing with in Mexico is like, yeah, it's hard, but it's good. Like it's good, happy, you know? I'm also just really excited to see everybody today. I had a good night's sleep even though I'm still really tired because I got my I got my period in the middle of the night. Late. Quite late. Like five days late. I'm never late, but the stress of last week I think just threw me off. But I'm happy to be here and it's so beautiful. We're off. We're gonna go find some fruit and then probably bring it back here. And then we're gonna go see the lawyer. And um, on my way to the lawyer, I'm like halfway to the grocery store. So I'm just gonna walk to the grocery store and see if I can get some groceries and then head home. Depending on how much I have, I'll either take an Uber back or we'll walk back. It's only half a mile. The fruit stand was the opposite direction. So I'm headed towards a vegan cafe, hoping that they have smoothies because it's really, really close to the law office. Also, I'm on like the busiest road in Mysterious. It's called Highway 200, and it pretty much gets you from every town to every town. So there's a lot of noise. Sorry if you can't hear me. The vegan restaurant doesn't open until nine, which is the time my meeting is. So, I guess I'm going to my meeting, and then I'll come back. Actually, I'll probably just go to the grocery store after that. Since the place wasn't open, I ate a Lara bar, drank a bunch of water. I will be ready for food when my meeting's over, for sure. I arrived quite early, so I'm just sitting here. Watching all the people pass. Literally just right across the street. That's where I'm going. That meeting with Yasmin was lovely. I love her so much. If you're ever in the area and need a um, lawyer, please check her out. Now it's time to go get some groceries. I brought rice paper rolls, but they actually have them. My favorite coconut milk in Mexico, but they don't have just the regular. They only have the chocolate here. I'm considering this my workout for the day because I have three bags of groceries and a thing of water. 
So back to the apartment. We've got about 0.6 miles. I've made it and I'm worn out. Oh my. I'm hot. <laughs> Look at sweat. I think I'm pretty much soaked through this entire tank top. But I did it and I couldn't have done that in 2018, 2017 or 2016 or 2015, but I can do it today. I'll show you what I got from the grocery store. A little grocery haul. I got a big old thing of water. I always keep my little bottles so that I can refill the little bottles into that or put it in my Yeti. I got some spinach some bananas remember i said it's first day dot gotta have the salt sunscreen maple syrup just look how cute this thing is it was very expensive 12 dollars, but gotta have maple syrup and then i got this cranberry juice it's actually cran apple but they didn't have just plain cranberry that wasn't full of sugar this is literally just cranberries and apples with no sugar in it so that's what i opted for oats I got almond butter because the peanut butter is so sparse here in Mexico. Um, I need to just learn to start bringing it myself like in a little travel thingy because um, they have like Skippy and I'm, I'm not a Skippy girl. I don't, I just want peanuts in my peanut butter. So I got this almond butter and it's just almonds, a couple cans of tuna, some mustard, some lettuce, and a bunch of mangoes. Cause it's mango season here. <sighs> I'm gonna put all of this away and get something to eat. I was gonna just eat in the room and get some work done. <laughs> uh, but my husband talked me into going to El Peo and getting some ceviche. Actually, he told me to get red snapper, but I'm not feeling like I want red snapper tonight, or today. So I'm gonna go get some ceviche. And then when I come back, I can get a little bit more work done and then it'll be time to go see the kids. Let's get out of here. Oh, it looks so nice out. This right here is the main street right off the ocean. So the ocean is just one street over. If you follow this road, it'll take you right into Centro, which is where we're going, to one of my favorite restaurants, El Peo. Look at all these beautiful bougainvilleas. So pretty. Look at this stunning building with all of these seashells in the columns. How cool. It's so neat. Here's the ocean, and then we've got, this is called the Kissing Bridge, El Paseo de Beso. And once you cross this, you go into the market area, and then you go into Centro. And now we have arrived into the market. Again, the beach is that way. Centro is this way. Now we are out of the markets and into Centro. Here's the church.
get to make it to the beach today. So, when in Bucerias, you walk home on the beach. I'm back. They even gave me chips to go with it, which is like more than enough. I think I used three when I was there. And this is enough for like at least two more meals. Oop. going in the fridge I need to sit down and do some work for about an hour I've got a nap about an hour and uh, I'll see you when we go see the kids we're just out here cutting mangoes mm. I have food poisoning food Food poisoning and exhaustion, it's real, man. <laughs>